this video, we're going to talk about the active ingredient mycorrhizae. Basically what mycorrhizae is, it's a natural fungal organism that was extracted from the soil and it's called Glomus cinerattices. This organism is not genetically modified, so it's basically a natural organism in its state. Premier Tech produces its own mycorrhizal fungi in a state-of-the-art lab in which we can actually guarantee, because of the way we produce it, it's pathogen-free and it's grown in a sterile environment. And when we do produce this, we actually can verify that the viable spore count, which is listed on our products, is actually as it states on the package. We do that through two means. One is through an actual spore count and an auger system. And second, we actually do plant growth trials where we actually colonize the roots and count the colonization on the root system. Mycorrhizae will colonize approximately 85% of the plants in the world. Plants such as flowers, vegetables, some trees and shrubs and also flowering plants. There are some plants that mycorrhizal fungi or the mycorrhizae that we use will not colonize. That would include vegetable crops such as broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, Swiss chard, radish, and, and spinach. And some flowering plants such as carnation, dianthus, gypsophila, lychnis, lobularia, linaria, sedum, and azaleas and orchids and a few other plants. And a lot of your conifers will not be colonized, your oaks, your beeches, your willow and poplars. Although these plants are not colonized by the Glomus cinerattices or the mycorrhizae, it certainly will not harm the plant. The plant just simply will not utilize the mycorrhizal fungi. So how does mycorrhizal fungi colonize the plant roots? Well, essentially what happens is the plant roots will grow throughout the growing media. When the plant root is in close proximity to an actual mycorrhizal fungi spore, which spores are kind of the same as, spores of fungi are the same as seeds to plants, they're kind of a resting stage. The natural carbohydrates and sugars given off by the plant roots will actually stimulate the actual spore itself to germinate and it will therefore then send out a hyphae which grow actually into the root system of the plant. So we take a look at a root system. Essentially the mycorrhizal fungi will grow into the root system of the plant as I mentioned and it will actually penetrate the cells and the plant will therefore, or the plant will produce sugars and carbohydrates the mycorrhizal fungi will feed from. And then once that colonization takes place there, the mycorrhizal fungi will send out high feed. It'll grow out beyond the root system, grow out in the surrounding soilless media or out into the soil environment where it will help to extract water and nutrients, specifically nutrients such as phosphorus, copper, zinc, manganese, and also iron and as well as nitrogen. And in addition, that will also help take up water and bring it back to the plant root system. So think of mycorrhizal fungi as kind of like an extension of the root system. So how does mycorrhizal fungi actually benefit the plant itself? Well, as I mentioned, there's the increased uptake of nutrients, specifically phosphorus, copper, manganese, zinc, and possibly iron and nitrogen, and also the addition of water. So what that means is the mycorrhizal fungi will help delay the onset of, of uh, nutrient deficiencies caused by these elements. So although it may not prevent it, it will, again, delay the onset. So you won't see the nutrient deficiency sh symptoms showing up in the plant as quickly. And in addition to that, it will help delay the wilting due to lack of watering. So therefore, if you have a problem where your injector isn't working properly or the fertilizer wasn't mixed properly, mycorrhizal fungi will help the plant get through that stress. So in addition to that, mycorrhizal fungi will also help that plant out into the environment as well. So if the plant is not as susceptible or succumb to nutrient and water stress, you'll have a healthier, stronger plant. The healthier, stronger plant when it's transplanted out into the environment, whether it's transplanted up into a grow bag in the greenhouse, or it's taken out into the field, or perhaps out into the landscape or the, or the homeowner's garden, what happens is the mycorrhizal fungi will help the plant to transition quicker to the, the new environment it's growing in, so it reduces that transplant shock and that, that kind of that delayed growth you get there. It helps also help the plant tolerate nutritional stress as we mentioned before, environmental stress, salt stress. As we can see, there's a lot of benefits for the plant. So well, how does that benefit the grower? Well, as I mentioned, of course, there's the delay in the onset of, of nutrient deficiency symptoms. And that's really important because you're not going to have to, or a grower will not have to spend as much time doing maintenance, trying to correct nutritional problems with the mycorrhizal fungi present. Once the plants are taken from the grower environment and are either transplanted up in the grow bags in the greenhouse or they're taken out into the field or landscape environment, first thing you'll see is that there will be a significant, generally speaking, there's usually a delay that comes from transplant shock, 
With mycorrhizal fungi, it'll help the plant transition better from the greenhouse environment into the new environment it's currently being placed into. So you're going to get improved overall performance of the plant. So you're gonna see plants tend to grow a little bit larger. Uh, you're gonna see increase in flower production and in fruit production. So if you're growing inside a greenhouse and grow bags or out in the field environment, increased production means more money in your pocket. And the other thing that we find is that with the mycorrhizal fungi, because the plants are gonna perform better in their final environment, you actually see a reduction of plant loss. You can see that in the greenhouse, but certainly in an environment where more stress is, is seen. And so if, as an example, if you can cut your overall losses down by 10%, think of the amount of extra money you're gonna place in your pocket by doing that. Mycorrhizae is an exclusive active ingredient that is pre-mixed into our ProMix uh, product line. So you can order it as a standard product through, through our distributors. Now as far as storage of the ProMix products with uh, mycorrhizal fungi incorporated into them, we recommend storing them at temperatures below 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius. Reason for that is the heat can cause some loss of viability. It's okay for the product to freeze, we just want to avoid the, the warm temperatures. In the product itself, the, the actual uh, mycorrhizae will survive up to two years. However, we don't recommend waiting two years to use the product. We recommend using it up within nine to 12 months for a peat light mix, such as our BX or HP, or six months for one of our bark-based mixes. And the reason for that is between uh, natural microorganisms and time, the wetting agent, which is used to help it absorb water, will break down and it might become more difficult to wet. As far as product use with ProMix Mycorrhizae, essentially you use it like you would use a standard ProMix product. Essentially, the only thing that really you need to look at is just looking at a lower phosphorus feed. Most growers do that already, so a 2010-20 or something with a lower, lower phosphorus middle number would be appropriate to use and of course use it at the appropriate rates. As we can see, there are many benefits of having mycorrhizal fungi in your ProMix products. But keep in mind, we also have other uh, standalone mycorrhizal products as well. We have our ProMix Pure product line, which has the highest spore count of any other product out there in the industry. We have products that you incorporate directly into the growing media for large scale production. Our ProMix Pure Mycorrhizae Zeolite product. We also have products for indoor gardening, so that'd be our ProMix Pure powder for sticking cuttings and ProMix Pure Granular, again, to mix directly into the growing media. We also offer a line of products for the homeowner under our Mike name. Basically, there's three products, the Mike uh, Tree and Shrub, the Mike Flower, and the Mike Vegetable and Herb. Thank you.